the biggest thing about cloud is distance matters. Uh, you know, electricity moves at you know the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second. But distance equals latency. If I'm going to reach across a long distance, I'm going to feel it. Latency, it's cloud killer. Uh, in this case, if we're talking about you have something here in Michigan and we go ahead and sing out with servers, say, on the West Coast, well, that's what, 1,700, 2,000 miles? It's going to make a round trip of 2,000 miles, which doesn't sound like much. It's milliseconds, best case. But we still have to hit all the various routers and things in between there, which each introduces a millisecond or two of latency. So we're talking round trip times, not including the processing time it takes to do on your virtualized stack there. I've investigated a lot of people's public cloud or private clouds rather, and a lot of times it's you know they bought this, uh, you know, this piece of hardware. It's you know purported to be this great. It moves you know 300 megs a second. What's the access time? What do you mean? How fast can it get you those bits? And what happens if you run a database against it or something where it really chews up disk in terms of I/O? Well, you're not going to have a great day with that. Um, so latency, it's the thing that, you know, it can affect the private cloud or public cloud, especially if you go far away.